In this video, I am talking about how you can make pretty much any manual vintage lens autofocus on your Nikon Z camera with this Make it up MTZ11 autofocus adapter. If you are here for the first time, my name is Pav, and on this channel I talk about all things photography and video, gear reviews, tutorials, and more. If this is your thing, then please consider subscribing. I am a fan of vintage lenses. I keep buying them, usually cheap ones, to see what kind of character they have, and use them frequently to get that vintage dreamlike look in photographs and videos. There's a lot of vintage lenses around. Anything from super cheap and common Soviet Russian Heliosis uh, lenses to very expensive and very very high quality collectible ones. The fact is that if you want to use any of them on DSLR or a mirrorless camera, you will have to manually focus. Not the problem as such, something that it is easy to get used to and master with the right technique, especially using a mirrorless camera where you can zoom in on an image to fine tune that focus point. However, when taking a photo, it takes time to get right. And in my experience, my success rate of getting sharp photos is never that great. Maybe 30, 40, percent. That's how it is. So when I heard about this adapter that actually makes manual lenses autofocus on Nikon Z camera, I was very intrigued if it actually works and is it actually a game changer for me anyway or anyone like me who wants to use manual vintage lenses but without all that hassle of manually focusing. Before I go into it I must say that this adapter is on loan from Megadap for this review but I wasn't paid or asked by Megadap or anyone else to say anything specific about it so this is my honest and absolutely unbiased opinion about it. This is a Leica M2 Nikon Z adapter. Basically, if you have any of the Leica M mount lenses, you can attach them to this directly and this to your Nikon Z camera. But most of Leica M lenses, although very, very good, are not cheap and not as accessible as M42 mount lenses, for example, which I have a small collection of. Good thing is that you can adapt pretty much any lens mount to Leica M and use in conjunction with this. I have been testing it with only M42 lenses with this M42 to Leica M adapter. Great thing is that this Megadap adapter, even with additional adapter on top, is still fairly small on the camera, even with the lens. Adapter itself communicates with the camera and it contains a motor inside the bottom here, uh, which moves lens forward and backwards to achieve autofocus. Very simple. The whole device works straight out the box, but clever torch is that you can actually get accurate EXIF data onto your photos with. Well, kind of. Megadap provides a lens chart and required settings needed to set this up. To do the setup, you need to put the camera in aperture priority mode and dial corresponding to your lens's focal length aperture setting. So if you're using a 28 millimeter lens, you put the camera in aperture priority mode, dial F18 on the camera as the chart suggests and take a blank photo. Switch the camera off and on again and now every photo taken with an adapter and attached 28 millimeter lens will have 28 millimeter information recorded in EXIF data. You can't control the aperture of the lens from the camera but if you use lens wide open, open manually of course, and you dial F2 on your camera, F2 will also record into EXIF data together with whatever shutter speed you were shooting at. It doesn't seem like an important thing but you get literally nothing adapting any vintage manual lenses with with a standard adapter. And if you change lenses or aperture settings and you want to know at what settings your photos were taken at a later date, with this adapter you can. So the main question, the most important question is, does it work? Yes, it does. You can't expect Nikon S lens autofocus performance, but as autofocus goes, it really does work. First thing you notice is that the adapter is quite loud. It does buzz and crunch a lot, but it does have to work hard in moving the lens forward and backwards, and it's all mechanical. The face and eye tracking works very well, but sometimes it helps to pre-focus manually a little bit to get it going a little bit quicker, especially if you use it with longer lenses like 135mm or even longer. The focus travel from something close to you to infinity will be quite long and the adapter will struggle to move the lens this much. It's very easy to just turn the manual focus ring to get very rough focus and then just leave it to do its auto thing. 
In general, I had no issues focusing with it. It works okay in AFS and AFC modes, and Megadap strongly suggests not to use pinpoint focusing mode. It will have really hard time doing it. For video, if you can ignore the sound, the loud sound it makes, if you're not recording the sound, it works okay just okay. I don't think it would be usable for any serious work, but it kind of works. I heard that closing the aperture on the lens a little bit makes it work much better, but in my test it was all the same. Slow, with a bit of pulsing even going on. If you are filming a person that is not moving at all, or static objects, maybe for B-roll, this would do okay, good job eliminating guessing and eliminate the need to micro adjust the focus every time. If you want snappy and responsive focus, like with modern lenses, then use modern lenses. This won't do it. I have tested it with the latest uh, firmware on this and the Nikon Z6 with, main, with mainly Helios 44.2 and 44.4 and Pentacon 50mm f1.8 lenses for auto focusing in video and it was just okay -ish. not brilliant, but I might be completely wrong, and this might be significantly different and better with Leica lenses, but I can't test that. For auto-focusing taking photos, this is a game-changer for me. It is. It will obviously hugely depend on the lens in use, and some sharper lenses like Canon FDs or Leica lenses, of course, will perform much better, but shooting with Soviet Helios 44.2 with this, my success rate of actually getting sharp photos in comparison to manual focusing was much higher. Probably about 40% more photos were correctly focused, and I didn't have to even think about it. On a very rare occasion, I had to pre-focus manually by turning the, the manual focus ring to get it going, but overall, it works. This adapter retails for $349. Not exactly cheap, but if you do have a lot of vintage lenses, especially if you have or planning on buying any Leica lenses, then this is a very good value for money. The whole thing is built like vintage lenses, rock solid and all metal. One thing is to watch the bottom of it, as it is a little bit too tall, and maybe in the way of some tripod plates, if you need to put the camera on the tripod with this attached to the camera. My Z6 lives permanently in a small cage, making it a little bit taller. So for me, this was not a problem, but it is a little bit tall. Firmware can be updated via micro USB cable. There's a, there's a socket on the side of it. Uh, however, I had to try several cables before I found one that actually fits in properly in this, in this socket. I guess if that was the first cable that I've tried, I would even be talking about this now. But if you don't see the adapter on your computer, it shows like a like a memory stick or a hard drive. If you don't see it, it's most likely due to the cable not fitting in properly. Try a different cable. Conclusion. This is a very neat little device. I do like the look vintage lenses deliver, but I don't use them often enough because of the manual focusing. Especially if taking a camera for a walkabout, I keep stopping too much and for too long to take a photo. So I have been told. <laughs> this speeds up the process significantly and delivers much higher sharpness success rate than doing it manually. Shooting portrait is quicker and you can concentrate more on composition and lighting than making sure that the eye is sharp. The adapter takes care of that. The device works well for photography but you can't expect snappy and as accurate results as from native Nikon lenses. But it does work and makes manual lenses auto-focus. For video, I'd stick with manual focus. This might be better with some lenses than those I have tested it with, and maybe it will get better with future firmware update of this, but for now, it is just flaky. Overall, I really want one just to give out of my vintage lenses new lease of life. And this is it from me. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me that thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, cameras, lenses, photography, video tutorials, then please consider subscribing. Support the channel, buy me a coffee, and thank you for watching. See you next time. The fact is that if you want to use any of them, any manual, and now every photo taken with an app, with the, with the, for video, if you can ignore the lounge sound too tall for Z6, 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 Z6. Smush, 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 smush. Right, we have done it. So now we're gonna shoot the thumbnail.